Hi everyone, my name is Herman Gonzalez. I'm a digital illustrator from Colombia. And in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create portraits in Adobe Fresco. First of all, uh, we'll need some inspiration to get started. So you can go to Behance to get some creative dose. And after that, you need some references. I'm going to use an image of a model from Adobe Stock. To create a new document, you need to click create new. I'm going to create a custom size canvas to let me explore for both web and printing. I'm going to use a 300 dpi to get good quality for printing. You can import your images from your camera roll and this is something I love about Fresco. You can place your images out of the canvas. You can turn this function on in the settings icon in the top of the screen. I'm going to use a sketch brush, but there's many more. You can click the plus button on the menu and you will find a lot of brushes by Quality Webster. I want the dry media kit. Uh, click follow and you get them. Remember, you can edit the size, the flow, and the smoothness of your brushes in Adobe Fresco. Create a new layer and select a vector brush to make the shape of our portrait. You can edit the opacity of your sketch layer. Turn this layer into a pixel layer and select lock transparency in the same menu. And this will help us only paint inside the shape of the portrait. Another feature I like from Fresco is that you can import your own brushes from Photoshop. I'm going to import a hairbrush I've created before. You only need to click the plus button on the bottom of the menu. Make sure you place them in the files folder on your iPad. The most incredible thing about Fresco is its oil brushes because they are so real as you can see. Finally, uh, to explore your artwork, uh, you can click the share button on the top of the screen and as you can see, you can export your image very quickly or you can export it in different formats. As you can see, you can export it as a Behance project. And also you can export a time lapse of your process. And that's all. Hope this can help you. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye.